It's actually really good because you get to be around the plants, you know, just like helping them out, raking the stuff, and um, sometimes we actually plant stuff on the strawberry bed over there. The, the kids grow all of the vegetables from seeds in our greenhouse. And so this summer we had planted pumpkins at the end of the school year. This is our pumpkin patch and I actually had parents and preschoolers and students come out during the summer and they planted the pumpkins. And so in October our, our, our young primary kids come out, they see the pumpkins and they sit on the lawn and um, they read stories, they get to touch, they get to feel the pumpkins and they see them growing. This has got three different varieties of lavender in it. Um, some of the girls took this on as a project two years ago and uh, they actually harvest the lavender. They made sachet out of it for Earth Day and gave it out to the teachers. Um, they had a big poster, explained all the different ways you can do lavender. They researched all the different ways you can eat it, what, what you can make out of it and how to harvest it and dry it. We'll harvest um, the gourds. Kids will make decorations and things out of them for the winter, like in November for uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, just like the pumpkins, they get planted in the summer and then they grow into um, real nice. We dry them and they make, the kids make all kinds of things. I saw some of the teachers use these as a writing, uh, writing. They put a different gourd on all their little kids' desks and they ask them to describe it with, with adjectives. What does it look like? How does it feel? You know, um, and they came up with a lot of different adjectives. So the teachers here at Tully Signals are very creative as what the, how they use the garden. The Strawberry Growers Association and uh, Lassen Canyon Nurseries in Ripon donated strawberry plants. Went out to strawberry growers and they showed me what they do to grow strawberry plants commercially. And these are commercial strawberries. During the summer, my mom, my whole family came out here and we all worked and I signed up for it in seventh grade again. Learning new things, always trying new things, pretty much new everything. Like if you haven't done something in the garden yet, then you're probably gonna do it the next day or the next week. Because Miss Colburn, she, she's always trying to let everybody have experience on how to do stuff, trying to teach you new things and how to work stuff. So you get to not sit down at a desk and write stuff, you just get to get up, get interactive, walk around, eat stuff off, fresh stuff off, anything. It gets him outdoors. Um, I know with my youngest son, because he takes this class on a regular basis, he's learning how to do irrigation. He knows how to create beds and, you know, set up the, the fences. And he's learning new ways to help the plants grow. You know, they've come up with a new thing gut, called gutter plants, and it's for small apartment homes that you know want to have gardens or spices and can't do it because they don't have the room so that gives them an opportunity a, a way to you know do it in the small home and he's learning a lot of stuff and I think it's going to be helpful for him especially wanting to be a chef when he grows up. The first thing I like like all the plants and stuff, the way you can pick it, it and all the strawberries and all the uh, like watermelons. I I always I like like fruit and the vegetables. If you're into you know planting and raking stuff and garden gardening work, I'd re like really recommend this class for you.